everyone, today I'm here to review a book for you and today I'll be talking about Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. This is Lauren Graham's newest release. This is a memoir type of autobiography book. She has released a book of fiction called Someday, Someday, Maybe, which was released a few years ago. I did read it and I did enjoy it, but this one is her memoir book that just came out literally a couple weeks ago. And yeah, let's talk about it. So I love Gilmore Girls. That is literally no surprise. I scream it from the rooftops on the daily basis. If I... I don't get on rooftops. I don't, but I scream it out from my front yard to all my neighbors all the time, like, I love Gilmore Girls, I love Gilmore Girls, and they're like, Heather, we know. Give us some new information. So yeah, it's no secret I love the Gilmore Girls and I love Lauren Graham. I love so many things about Lauren Graham. When this came out, I knew I immediately had to read it and actually listen to it, which I always listen to any memoir book that comes out. I always make sure I listen to it because I feel like you really get a connection with the person because the author 99% of the time reads the book. Graham talking to me for like two hours and it was glorious. But let's begin. So this book is very, very short, very short. So like I said, it was only like two and a half hours maybe with audiobook. I listened to it in like four days which that is no time for me because usually it takes me a lot longer to read audio to listen to audiobooks because I don't drive a lengthy amount of time to places if that makes sense so this is a very short book that is a qualm I did have about it but overall I did really enjoy this book a lot because I love Lauren Graham and I love her voice and I love her sense of humor I feel like me and her have a very similar sense of humor and I love that she talks fast because I talk fast and I get that a lot a lot of people say you talk really fast Heather and I'm like I, I know I know I try to change it but I just can't. I will say I liked I liked learning more about Lauren when she was growing up, when she was in her college days and how she was into Broadway and stuff like that. I didn't even know that she was a theater major and that she did all these plays and she sang and all that stuff. I had no clue about her. I had I had no clue about that notion of her. So I did love reading about that. Of course, she talks a lot about Gilmore Girls in this because the title is called From Gilmore Girls to Gilmore Girls and Everything in Between. That's part of the title. Main title, I think, is Talking As Fast As I Can. But I like that she talks so much about Gilmore Girls because, I don't know, Gilmore Girls is a thing. It's my, it's my all-time favorite show. I've loved it since I was 16. It is just... Oh, it's so so good. So I love that she talked about it a lot and she also talked about Parenthood a lot. One of my other all-time favorite shows, Gilmore Girls and Parenthood. <sighs> Parenthood will get me, like Gilmore Girls makes me laugh a lot. Parenthood makes me cry on a daily basis if I watch that show. Like that show, you, gosh, you're just gonna cry. You're gonna cry so much when you watch that show, but it's so amazing. So she has these two amazing shows and you learn about her and their different movies that she's been in and her relationships. And it was just overall really, really good. I do wanna say a few things I didn't like about it, as subtle, subtle, so sorry, is the length. I did feel like the length was very, very short. I wanted probably a hundred more pages out of this and I think it would have been real complete. And a lot in this book, she's talking about how she's writing this book and she's on a time crunch and her editor which by the way is Jennifer E. Smith who is a YA author that's amazing I was like why for the win and she met in Sarah Dessen in this book and I was like oh my gosh YA so much YA talk I loved it so very much but she talked about in this book a lot how she's on a time crunch writing this book she was filming Gilmore Girls because she was filming Gilmore Girls and I felt like you could read that she was on a time crunch this book did feel a little rushed a little sloppy at times. Some segments or stories in this book I really felt were kind of jumbled. I didn't feel like maybe needed to be in this book but I felt you could definitely tell that she was on a time crunch while I was reading this and that's not to say that's like a horrible thing. I just noticed is what I'm saying that that I could tell this book was written in a very time crunch which is not a horrible thing because she was busy obviously but I do feel like they maybe kind of pushed the date because they this came out like a week. Yeah, this book came out like within a week after Gilmore Girls a Year in a Life so they still wanted to release this when everyone was still high on the Gilmore Girls adrenaline, which I understand, but I feel like they shouldn't have rushed it too much. I feel like if there was another 100 pages and we had it flesh out a little bit more, I would have, I would have really like beyond loved it. That was my only qualm. Like I said, I could definitely tell that it was rushed and that the fact that it's so short. But other than that, I really liked it. I really like learning more about Lauren's life and like I said, her school life and her parents and how her relationship with her dad and, you know, just about Gilmore Girls overall. I love that she even kept a diary about her time while she was filming A Year in the Life and the fact that she rewatched all all episodes of Gilmore Girls and she made notes about it during her rewatch I loved that and I love the fact that she is so close with all of her castmates and crewmates she mentions them regularly in this book and I find that so amazing because sometimes you worry when you're watching your favorite show do these people go to 
do these people really get along or do they really hate each other? I don't know. You can definitely tell that Lauren has genuine love for every single person that she works with and I found that so amazing and I just, uh, I did really enjoy it. But like I said, the one thing I had is the short and it felt choppy at times. But I loved her, um, the way she talks so fast because I talk so fast and I love her sense of humor. She has a very great sense of humor but I will say I did the, the stories I found that were my favorite were just ones of her talking, of telling about her life, not trying to be comedic but just telling a story. I found those to be my favorite because I was very invested in that like stories where she told about her auditioning and stories about how she was you know growing up and talking about someday someday maybe because you learn a lot about her writing process for that book as well. I liked those a lot more because I felt like we got to learn more about her and she wasn't trying to be funny because she's naturally funny honestly. I will laugh at any of her jokes hands down but I did like those sections a little bit more. I do like the fact that when she figured out the last final four words when Amy Sherman Palladino told her she was like that's kind of cliffhanger and she says that repeatedly in this book. She was like that's it Gilmore Girls is done but that felt like a cliffhanger didn't it? That kept feeling like a cliffhanger. She said it at least five or six times so I'm like this this is not over. Gilmore Girls is not over. Hearing her say that I was like it gave me a hope for it's not even close to being over. So yeah, that makes me pretty, pretty excited because they cannot leave it the way they did. It was too far open-ended. I don't hate open endings, but I felt that was a little bit too open of an ending, if you get what I'm saying. So I love that she talked about that. And I love that she talked so much about parenthood. Oh my gosh, parenthood. If you like Gilmore Girls, please watch Parenthood. You know what, I don't even, if you don't even like Gilmore Girls, watch Parenthood. I will recommend Parenthood to everybody because I think it's something that everybody can like. My husband doesn't like Gilmore Girls, but he will watch Parenthood with me any day of the week because that is an amazing show. So overall, I gave this book a four out of five. I would give it a full I would give it a full five out of five if it was longer and if it was fleshed out more and it wasn't so choppy. And but I still really enjoyed it, and it is one of my favorite memoirs I have ever read. And I do love me some memoirs. If you have read this book, please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Did you think it was hilarious or not so hilarious? Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.